Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to talk about three such tools which would help you create Lottie animation files. And yeah, Adobe After Effects is not one among them. So most of us think that Lottie animations can be created only using Adobe After Effects and the Body Movement plugin. But there are other couple of tools which would help us create amazing Lottie animations too. And we are going to talk about three such tools in this video. So the first two are very easy to use and they are a paid subscription based software. And the third one is a free open source tool. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Starting off with the first one, it's called as Haiku Animator. And this is an amazing tool to create cool animations and export it in various formats. I'm not going to talk much about this tool in this video because I've already made a detailed video about how to create animations in this. So you can check that video on the cards at the right top or the link is in the description below. So just to give a quick overview of this tool, it looks pretty similar to a sketch or a Figma layout where you have the layers on the left and the properties of it on the right. And then you have a timeline at the bottom like any other video editor. So once you start a new project, you can basically import your designs from Sketch, Figma or Illustrator and that would import all your design layers onto this which you can then start animating using the timeline here by applying different keyframes. So again if you want to see how to use this in detail you can check the link in the description below. Moving on to the next tool here which is called as Flow and as you can see this has a very similar layout to the tool that we just saw. You have your layers on your left and you have the related properties on the right and at the bottom you have some layer properties that you can animate using keyframes and this timeline that you see here. So let's quickly try to do a very basic animation to see how this works. So once you start your new project you can basically import your designs from a sketch file or you can use the basic shapes that are available here. So for the time being I'll just use a circle and maybe I'll use it as a ball uh, to make it bounce on the ground let's say this is the ground so let's do a very basic animation here to see how this works so I selected a circle you can go ahead and change the colors and all the stuff here so what I'll do is I'll take the timeline head here and bring it somewhere around 0.5 seconds maybe and I'll change the position of this to somewhere around here so as you can see once I release that a keyframe got added and that is basically to show the XY position. So once I try to run this you can see it already in action. You can use this option here to loop your animation to see it continuously so once I click on that and I play it you can see you have your animating ball already but maybe I'll also try to show that the ball is getting compressed when it hits the ground. So uh, once I reach somewhere around here I maybe want it to reduce in height here so something like that and as soon as I release you can see the height property got added automatically and now if I try to play it you can see it's uh, changing its height but it's changing height all throughout this path but I just want the height of the ball to reduce when it hits the ground. So what I'll do is I'll bring this keyframe of the initial height to somewhere around here. So only the height starts changing when it reaches this area here. So you can see that it's changing the height at that region. So now if I try to play it you can see that is how it works. So once you're satisfied with your animation just head towards the export button here and once you click on that you have a couple of options here. So if you see the timeline we are just using the move property to create this animation. You can use these other properties also but in the current example I'm doing I didn't use any of these properties. So what you got to do is just click on the move checkbox here because we are just using that on the timeline and that is what we want to export and on these right side options this is basically the format that you want to export. So coming to Lotte you have these three options which is Android, Web and iOS. So all of these have some supporting features of these properties but you can go with this web option here just click on that and say export and there you go the file has been exported and once I open the folder here you have the move.json that is what we just created and to check that preview you just need to go to the web browser go to lottefiles.com and click on the preview option here and this would basically allow you to drop in your json file to see the preview of the animation all you gotta do is go to your finder click on move.json and drag it onto this and there you go you have your animations on lotte you can go ahead and publish this to the lotte file community or you can use it in any of your projects so that was about the flow tool and the third one as I told you is an open source tool which is totally free to use and it's called a SyncPic Studio. It is basically an open source tool that helps you create advanced studio animations but recently someone from the community has created a plugin for this which allows you to export it to Lotte but due to some issue in the plugin it is currently not able to export JSON on a Mac and this issue is already raised on the community and I think there's going to be a fix for it soon so make sure that you follow this link for the updates but let's have a quick overview of how you can animate on this tool. So as soon as you start your new project you basically have all the tools available here to create the design in this software itself. So I'll just take the circle tool here and draw a circle 
and maybe we can animate this one. So once I finish drawing, you can see the layers are on the right side here, unlike what we saw on the left here. And the properties you have it here itself, the different brush and all that stuff here. And you have the color options here and you have the timeline at the bottom and the properties that you want to animate on this side here. So let's start the animation. So now that I have the circle, I'll go back to the select tool here. Maybe I'll place it on the center. And then once you want to start animating, you have to click on this icon here, which says turn on animate editing mode. So once I click on that it changes to a red icon here and then you have your timeline activated let's say at 24 frames i want to move it somewhere around here so a keyframe got added as you can see here these are the keyframes and at maybe 48 i'll take it back to this corner at the end i'll bring it back to the center so the total time frame of this uh, timeline can be set here. So it's currently set at 72. You can increase it if you want a longer animation. So if you set this to 200, you can see that the extra frames are added. But right now I just want 72 frames here. So I'll leave it back at 72. And you can go ahead and preview animation here. So there you go, your animation is previewed and you can use this option to loop it continuously. So once you're satisfied with your animation, you just simply need to go to the plugins option here and click on export to Lotte format. Once you click on that, you just need to click on proceed and that would basically export it to a JSON format. But as I told you, there's some bug in the plugin right now, which they are trying to fix it. That would probably get fixed and you would be able to export it to JSON. So here you can see the complete information about this and these are the animation that they have done here. And this is the link to check the fixes and all stuff the community is working on it so hopefully this would get fixed soon so that's it for this video guys i hope you found this informative and helpful a quick note here thanks for all the love and support that you've shown us on youtube and we have just recently started our instagram page and as you can see here we are posting some really interesting and informative design bites so make sure that you follow us there so that you don't miss out these content and as always thanks for watching